on daily manual labor. Idleness is the enemy of the soul. Therefore, the brethren should be occupied at certain times in manual labor, and again at fixed hours in sacred reading. To that end, we think that the times for each may be prescribed as follows. From Easter until the calends of October. When they come out from prime in the morning, let them labor at whatever is necessary until about... You've got a strong constitution. Anyone else would have certainly died. What... What happened? Let me tell you a little story. Once upon a time, there was a young boy. He was lost and miserable. He had no future. He was tempted by his friends into doing some foolish things. But he wasn't truly bad, because when it came down to it, he ran away rather than keep doing foolish deeds. His former friends didn't take kindly to that, though, and wanted to punish him. So they sent a hunting dog to find him and rip his throat. The boy wasn't stupid, though, and he knew that the hound was coming. He poisoned some food, and when the hound showed up, he gave it to him. He didn't expect the beast to live, but it did. And all of a sudden, the boy was sorry for what he tried to do. So he offered to make a bargain with the hound. I think I understand you. But the beast would need to know what deal he's being offered. You know, we're both pawns in someone else's game. They have plans for us. But we don't have to let them use us. We can just forget all about it and go our own way. I, I was a bandit. And I was at Nyhoff. I've robbed and stolen. But I swear to God I've never in my life slain innocent people. What I saw at Nyhoff made me realize my life was worth shit. But I still had a chance to change for the better. Here in the monastery I've had plenty of time to think things over. But then you showed up and fucked it all up. So the evildoer changes his ways and finds God. And what exactly are you proposing? Both of us can leave this place. You can go back to your people, and I can go somewhere where I can live out my life in peace, and no one will try to kill me. If we work together, we can both get what we want. What if I wanted a different option? You could kill another novice, I suppose. Before we make a run for it, we'll make it look like someone's killed me. Loads of blood, a tattered scrap of my habit, and footprints leading towards the river. No one will bother looking for my body there. There we'll split up. You go for your bounty, and I'll get as far away from here as I can. Good. Let's do it your way. Good. I'm glad that despite our initial discord, we could reach an agreement. Here, take something to calm your stomach. Now we'll need the keys to the monastery, and some blood to make the tracks. What are you going to do? I need to get ready for a long journey. Prepare supplies, get some normal clothing somehow. That sort of thing. You can escape in that habit, but I need to vanish as fast as I can. What do I need the keys to the monastery for? How else will we get out? This place is practically a prison. Getting the keys won't be easy. I know, but Brother Solarius is a reformed thief. I'll bet he still has a few lockpicks lying about. If you know how to use them, they'll be worth finding. Or there's the hard way. Steal the keys from the prior. He carries them with him at all times. They both sound hard to me. But needs must. And where am I supposed to get my hands on blood in a monastery? You'll find a parchment in the kitchen with a list of ingredients on it. All the things they're ordering. Add blood for making soup to the list. And when it's delivered the next day... Take it before anyone notices it's even come. All right, that's everything I need to know. I can get started. Excellent. Come and see me once you have everything. And try to be as fast as you can. And Gregor, thank you. That would sound more sincere if you hadn't just tried to kill me. That's why I'm thanking you. For being so reasonable despite what I did. For what it's worth, I'm glad the poison didn't kill you. And we can both come through this alive if we work together. What would you like? Brother, I've a... Hi. There's something... Brother.
Remember the vows you made. I've got the money. By the relics of St. Procopius, where did you get all that? But a promise is a promise. Give me that and I'll get the keys to get you out. There you go. Come back in a couple of days. I won't manage to get the keys before that. troubles you. Do you have the keys yet? Like I promised. Here they are. But brother, if you happen to get caught out there, not a word about who got you the keys. Even on pain of torture, say nothing. That's the sort of trouble neither of us needs. Don't worry, I'll be careful. And thanks. Praise be to Christ, brother. I have everything we need for the escape. Excellent. Straight out of Vespers, we'll meet in the dormitory. We'll have to get it all done before the monks have finished dinner. What exactly is your plan? And why can't we do it at night? We're going to prepare a little riddle they'll never solve. And why at mealtime? Because we need the dormitory as well as the church to be empty. Then at night we'll escape. Do you follow? Take everything with you, and don't forget the keys. Good. Once evening mass ends, I'll be in the dormitory. exact spot where you push me off the gallery. Here's where you dragged my lifeless body. Thank you for helping me out. Now we must each go our own way. I was glad to help. I did what I needed to do and no one got killed. First horse I come across and ride until dawn, far, far away from here. I was thinking. Here, take this. Show it to those cutthroat bastards and tell them you found it on me. That should convince them. Especially when they hear about the outcry here after the fires found out we've gone. Your lucky die. In a manner of speaking. I hope it brings you more luck than it brought me. Thank you. Thank you for letting me live, Brother Gregor. My name's Henry. All right, Brother Henry. May God be with you. Thank you for helping me out. Now we must each go our own way. Well, I can't just let you leave. You're a criminal. What are you on about? Did you really help me escape just to betray me? I'm truly sorry, but you were there at the Neuhof massacre and you're a valuable witness. I'm taking you to the bailiff. Gregor, you can't be serious. I thought I won't be taken anywhere. I'd rather die than lose my freedom. 
This is one of the men who raised Neuhoff. He should be able to tell you something useful. But I need to ask a favour. I need you to keep him out of sight so his accomplices don't know he's been caught. Fine work. And I'll do as you say. I'll find a deep, dark hiding place where no one will hear me interrogate him. And while we're at it, I'll have your things brought here. Aren't you meant to be Wait here a while. Lad? We have to make at least another three score and another, but three would be better. What are you doing here? You're playing truant from the monastery, aren't you? Fuck off back to your mother's cunt. I'm done with you. Thank you for helping me out. Now we must each go our own way. I can't let you go. You've been responsible for too much evil. You have to die. You... You can't be serious. You wouldn't have helped me get so far just to kill me here. That's exactly what I've had in mind the whole time. Brother, you don't have to do this. We're both free. We can walk away and never see each other again. Brother, we're not playing at monks anymore. Anyway, I may be free to go my own way, but you're not. No, I won't let you kill me. If I kill someone, I'll need to disappear before they're found and panic breaks out. I'll probably never be able to return. I think I understand you. You know, we're both pawns in someone else's game. I, I was a... What I saw at Nyhoff made me realize... So the eve... Both of us... You're right. But the people who sent me will find out if I don't kill you. They won't if we're clever about it. No one has to die. Before we make a run for it, we'll make it look like someone's killed me. There we'll split up. All right then, I'll kill someone else. Another senseless death. But at least it will buy me a life of peace here. You should take this and show it to your comrades. They know it was mine. But you have to kill if you don't want to be killed. But you don't have to kill anyone. I'll deal with it somehow. such haste. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Well, probably the same as you. I want to be able to read in peace and quiet. Ah, oh, I see. As you wish. And if I could recommend some good reading to you, you'll find it in that locked cabinet. It's full of forbidden books. Until recently, it was still unlocked. Maybe I could get inside. Oh, that would be wonderful. I'd love to pour over some of those tomes. We'd be in it together, up to our ears in it. What do you say? We'll see what I can do. If I kill someone, I'll need to disappear before they're found and panic breaks out. And I'll...
Someone else would have certainly died. What... What happened? Let me tell you a little story. Once upon a time, but he wasn't truly bad. His former friends didn't take kindly to that, though. The boy wasn't stupid, though. He didn't expect the beast to live. It was you that poisoned me. Don't take it personally. Kill or be killed. You know, we're both pawns in someone else's game. I, I was a bandit. What I saw at Nyhov made me realize my life was worth shit. So the evildoer changes his ways and finds God. Both of us can leave this place. You deserve to die, and I'm happy to be the one to kill you. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought we could come to an agreement that left both of us alive. But since there's no convincing you, I'll settle for just me. Morning, sunshine. Hope we didn't wake you. Yeah? Kurva. Did you have to sneak up on me like thieves? We are thieves. Besides, we had to make sure you weren't followed. Or trying to lead us into a trap. But enough of this chit chat. Let's get down to business. We heard there was some trouble at the monastery. Question is, was it the right sort? Did you do that job we agreed? Do you think I'd be sitting here if I didn't do it? How should I know? The world's full of idiots. It's done. You've got proof? He had this on him. Hmm. Aye. That says all right. What did you do with the body? What are you doing here? You're playing truant. I left it where it was. What else could I do? So, they lose a monk and find a corpse. How long do you reckon it'll take them to put two and two together? Well, it's not like I was planning to make a career in Rome. Hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. Soon it won't matter anyway. What now? What now? You did your job. Welcome. We need people like you. But what do you need people like me to do? <laughs> I'm just a crimp. All I do is recruit. Now you get to go to our camp and find out everything you need to know. Where? Are you seriously telling me you didn't know it's the camp? Not too observant, are you? Well, 
There's a hill above Sasau, and on top, there's an old abandoned fort. Only it's not as abandoned as it used to be. That's where the camp is. Go there and report to a fellow by the name of Eric. Tell him Kozliak sent you. And they'll let me in just like that? Good point. I almost forgot. At the gate, show them the special die you took off Pius. That's our sign. That's all? That's all. You'll learn everything you need to know at Vranik. And hurry up. I've got a feeling there's something being planned. Do you think I'd be sitting here if I didn't do it? How should I know? The world's full of idiots. It's done. You've got proof? I didn't find anything unusual on him except for a lot of coin. I'd say that's unusual for a monk, wouldn't you? Well, the... Have you got it on you? Forget it. I put my neck on the block for that coin and I'm keeping it. You what? That's not how we do things, boy. You don't question orders. Hand over that money. Over my dead body. If that's the way you want to play it, kill him! Bring it on. Do you think I'd be sitting here if I didn't do it? How should I know? It's done. You've got proof? I didn't find anything unusual on him except for a lot of coin. I'd say that's unusual for a monk, wouldn't you? Well, the... Have you got it on you? I don't. So, to sum things up, you were supposed to kill Pius and bring me proof. You've got no proof, you didn't kill Pius, and you're trying to take me for a fucking fool. We're done. Wait. Kill him! What's the matter? Come on! Do you think I'd be sitting here if I didn't do it? How should I know? It's done. You've got proof? I didn't find anything unusual on him except... I'd say that's unusual for a monk, wouldn't you? Well, but... Have you got it on you? Yeah. Great. Since that's the money we paid the bastard for a job he didn't do, I'll have it back. Sure. Here you are. Well, I never. Honest to God, Groshen. What are you so glum about? You didn't think I'd let you keep it, did you? Here's your share for the work you did. Not a Groshen more. What now? What now? You did your job. Welcome. We need people like you. But what do you need people like me to do? <laughs> I'm just a crimp. All I do is recruit. Now you get to go to our camp and find out everything you need to know. Where? Are you seriously telling me you didn't notice the camp? Not too observant, are you? Well, there's a hill above Sasau, And on top, there's an old abandoned fort. Only it's not as abandoned as it used to be. That's where the camp is. Go there and report to a fellow by the name of Eric. Tell him Kozliak sent you. And they'll let me in just like that? Good point. I almost forgot. At the gate, show them the special die you took off Pius. That's our sign. That's all? That's all. You'll learn everything you need to know at Vranik. And hurry up. I've got a feeling there's something being planned. Do you think I'd be sitting here if I didn't do it? How should I know? It's done. You've got proof? He had this on him. Hmm. Aye. That says alright. What did you do with the body? I dragged it away and buried it. That must have been quite a job.
True, it wasn't easy. But if I'd left the corpse, they'd know for sure I was the killer. This way, they just lost a couple of novices. Or do you think it would have been better to leave the body there? No. I just have to make sure you did what was needed. Not even a mouse can get into that damn monastery. So I'm no choice but to trust you. And do you trust me? Yeah. What now? What now? You did your job. Welcome. We need people like you. I dragged it away and buried it. That must have been quite a job. Are you saying I wouldn't have the strength? Nah. I just have to make sure you did what was needed. Not even a mouse can get into that damn monastery. So I'm no choice but to trust you. And do you trust me? Yeah. What now? What now? You did your job. I dragged it away and buried it. That must have been quite a job. Are you implying that I'm lying? Nah. I just have to make sure you did what was needed. Not even a mouse can get into that damn monastery. So I'm no choice but to trust you. And do you trust me? Yeah. What now? But where? He's <laughs> dead. And they'll let me in just like that? Good point. At the gate, show them. That's all? That's all.